viewers, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me, Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today I will be showing you how to use lists in HTML. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. Guess what, guys? We have a website. So, to visit our website, just go to the Google and type in mass-codetech.com. Type in mass-codetech.com and click on the first link. And there we go. This is our website. Here, we will be starting online classes. So, you can just check out our website. It's really cool. It's really nice. Just scroll down and we're, when you're done reading all about this, you get a one day free trial by clicking this. So you click start coding now. And plus, we have our merge. So if you click YouTube, it takes you to our official YouTube page. And if you click Instagram, it takes you to our Instagram page. And then if you click merge, it takes you to our merge store. So we have some merch over here hanging out there you can buy it if you if you want to it's just thirty dollars yeah that's for kids you can pick the size what you want there are more in there so you can go check our merch store out in the description down below i will leave a link for our website and the merch store so when you read all this you can click start coding now right here or right here it's your wish so i start i click right here it's loading right now and then you register so you write your parents email ID and then you write your parents name you write your parents mobile so we can text you the zoom link and stuff like that and you write your child's name then you select the grade or class your child is in so then you select if you have whether you have a computer or laptop at home so yeah then you click register now and an email will be sent to you on your email address that's saying that you have now joined the class we will send you a zoom link you can click we will send you a time a specific time so you can join the class at that time so yeah you get a one day free trial then you can enroll in our classes and you get a trial for i mean you can stay here if you enroll you can stay here and learn coding everything you want to learn for coding you can learn javascript you can learn html and everything so yeah, see you in the website or in the Zoom classes. So guys, we're right here in the Visual Studio Code Editor and we will be learning how to use lists. So go ahead in the body part. So after you go ahead and go in the body part, type in UL with a less than and a greater than sign. So what does UL mean? UL means unordered list. So unordered list so now we're gonna make an unordered list so now in between you ul we're gonna type in with a le lowercase less than and greater than sign l i and that means list so now an unordered list means there's going to be bulletin points yeah so now we're going to type some things in the list so we're going to type um what should we type let's type uh, Mohammed, let's have my name, Mohammed, then close it, L I slash L I, it all completes the code. And see right here, you can see it's a bulletin point and then my name. So that's an unordered list. So you can write it in any order. So next, we're going to do the same thing with L I, and then we're going to type in Iman's name. So Iman, and then we're gonna just write L I. And as you can see right here, we got Iman with a bulletin point. Now we will learn about order list. So how do you make an ordered list? You type in less than sign and a greater than sign. And you type in OL, which here O means ordered, L means list. So for UL, U means unordered, L means list. So yeah, OL, then we make the same thing with a slash OL, auto completes the code. Now we're going to type in li, same thing. So li, and then we will type in the same thing. Mohammed, oh, I spelled it wrong. I made the O here, uh, uppercase. 
Then we're going to do the same thing for the next one, li. Now we're going to type in i min. So lowercase, no, less than sign, greater than sign, li, i min. And then we will type in slash li. So as you can see right here, we got numbered list. So one, two. And if I remove my name, i min's name will be number one. So let's see. See, it doesn't matter if you remove it. It's still going to change the numbers to number one. And if I add it back, uh, if I add it back, so let me type in L I and then yeah, and if I add it back, I mean name is going to be second. So yeah, it's so simple to use it and you can make lists with it, wish list, grocery, grocery list. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this video was really short because it was a simple lesson. So yeah, thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.